The chemical road known is an agent derived from the roots and stems of tropical plants that has been used to intentionally kill fish populations in ponds for thousands of years. The primary reason to kill a pond is to remove any undesirable fish species from the pond. Undesirable fish can consist of fish that prey on the cultured species. They can overpopulate the pond and end up competing with the cultured species for food and spawning habitat. Also, the abundance of fish, undesirable and otherwise, can contribute to water quality deterioration. The presence of undesirable fish can interfere with staining and grading, and can make harvest more difficult because the fish must be sorted. And finally, the undesirable fish can transmit diseases to the cultured species within the pond. There are alternative physical and chemical methods to removing fish, such as lowering the water level combined with staining and electrofishing. However, these methods can be ineffective, as well as potentially dangerous. Other chemical choices are chlorine or antimycine A, but rhodonone is the most effective. Rhodonone affects only the fish populations in the pond by inhibiting their blood cells' ability to use dissolved oxygen, effectively suffocating the fish without lowering the oxygen content of the water. Available brands of rhodonone are noxfish, preentox, chemfish, or nussine noxfish. In order to correctly apply the rhodonone, you must first calculate the square footage of the surface of your pond. This can be done using satellite imaging to approximate the length and width. Then, in order to convert square feet to acres, divide that value by 43,560. Then, using the acreage of your pond surface, multiply by the average depth to obtain the acre-foot volume of water for your pond. Because rhodonone is more toxic to fish than to fish eggs, it is best to apply in the fall after spawning is complete. Other factors that can reduce effectiveness are disturbed sediment or organic matter in the water, as well as any surrounding bodies of water that are not treated. The application rate of rhodonone is 0.1 to 5 mg per liter, varying based on the target species. In this application, we were treating bullhead catfish in an organic-rich pond, so we needed to use the highest concentration. Once mixed, the diluted rhodonone solution is then split into thirds for application. The first third of the solution will be applied to the deepest portion of the pond. The second third will be sprayed around the perimeter of the pond. And the remainder will be applied to the surface of the water. In order to fully use the solution, some mechanical mixing may be necessary for portions that are not picked up by the sprayer. After the rhodonone is applied, it can take up to 45 minutes for the fish to begin surfacing, with the larger ones taking even more time. Once they have stopped appearing, the bodies can be allowed to decay in the pond or buried on land at your discretion. After application, livestock can continue to drink the water, except for swine, but it is still best to wait a few days to be safe. Also, it is safest to wait a few days for any wading or swimming in the treated water. The FDA has not approved the consumption of treated fish, and it is also recommended that crops not be irrigated with treated water. On average, rhodonone will detoxify in one to four weeks after application, but it is best to check the water beforehand with a minnow test. Place a minnow bucket in the treated water and place fat-headed minnows in the bucket. If the minnow survive three days, then the pond is ready to be restocked. Rhodonone is a restricted-use pesticide that can only be applied by a certified private applicator on his or her own property, or by a licensed commercial pesticide applicator. There are various motives for removing fish from ponds, and rhodonone is a safe and economical way to do so, better enabling you to carry out your management techniques. This video was funded in part by a grant from the National Institute of Food and Agriculture Renewable Resource Extension Act, administered by the Texas A&M Institute of Renewable Natural Resources, brought to you by Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Services. Scott Wiley, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service, County Extension Agent, Agriculture and Natural Resources, Fayette County. Todd Sink, Assistant Professor, Department of Wildlife and Fishery Science, Extension Fishery Specialist, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, Texas A&M University, and Michaela House, A&M undergraduate videographer.